three yards sterling. All right, initially they said they were going to give me a loaner vehicle, I'm sorry, uh, Uber credits, as they have done in the past, but I asked for a loaner vehicle, and they said they can get it for me. Hopefully, that'll be awesome. All right, so we got this Model S 75D, 35,000 miles on it. Very nice. And like just about all Teslas I've ever loaned recently, or had as loaners, it's locked in chill mode. Yeah, you can't get it out of chill mode. It's in chill mode. Grayed out. For the service appointment, they are charging a $95 diagnosis fee. Uh, I guess that's something that's standard now. It seems like last time I had to get something checked out, it was also $95. This car is so much lower to the ground than the Model X. It's hard to believe it's the same platform. It's so much, I mean, Model X already has a really low center of gravity, but this thing just driving it again, uh, I've had Model S's in the past. It, it's, it's, the center of gravity is so low. This car was built in July 2018, so it's pretty new. And the one thing that's newer about this Model S compared to other ones I've had is a full glass roof. It's all the way across the top, no interruption. It's just like the Model Y. It looks like that way to me anyway. Yeah, you see it's just one big panel of glass all the way across. And also this one has the original seats in it. Like the, are these Generation 1s or something? I think, even though it's 2018, I didn't know that they kept having them available. But this is what I have in my car, so that you never usually get to see them because at least the front ones have covers on them all the time. And it's charging at a pretty high rate. I can't remember the last time I saw any kind of charge rate like that on my car. Let's see if we can do autopilot. Uh, it won't let me do this one. It's, gray, it's completely grayed out. Yeah, I thought traffic light and stop soul, sign control. I guess it's not ready for that, huh? Hmm. Or maybe I just need to connect to Wi Fi. Maybe it won't let me connect to Wi Fi. I think that's part of the problem. Wait there. We can connect. And you can see what this is at the full self driving computer and the infotainment processor. some wind noise on this driver's door. Hear that? Weird. As you can better see the all glass roof here. Pretty cool. I wonder about getting sunburn though over time on a long car trip.
the car thinks my groceries are a passenger in the back. can't really listen to anything like I do in my car. There's no premium connectivity. I've grandfathered in with that. That goes away on the newer cars, and this is one of the ones that it goes away on. I guess when they got MCU2, it went away. So I'm one of the few ones with MCU2 and premium connectivity. Well, I don't have to pay for it anyway. I can, you can get it here, but it's at the pay, unfortunately. Wait, it works. I just have to connect to my Wi-Fi, that's all. Kind of just like I remember the standard audio which this has is just nowhere near as good as the premium audio. Got to get that in Model S. This is just not adequate. But standard audio seems to be fine in Model X. Alright, the night drop box is up here. So I'm going to drop off the key in the box. They've still got old school automotive legacy drop box options. Look at that. Don't you just love my handwriting?